Rod, another three points today in a battling performance. You must be delighted. Probably delighted and exhausted. Um, I think we had to overwork in the second half, to be fair, and we didn't go down to 10 men. You know, we was a little bit disappointed. We never took the game by the scruff of the neck and, and was a little bit more ruthless to put the second goal away. But, um, yeah, listen, we set out to win the game. Uh, we're at home in front of a fantastic crowd. And, you know, we dug deep. The boys have worked their socks off for us. There's been a lot of tired legs out there. Um, and, you know, we played against some real tough opposition and they went down to 10 men, so it might have had a factor in the game, but they can't argue with that because it was definitely a sending off. And um, I thought we played really well first half, but we was we was aware that the second half, they're fighting for their lives as well. I mean, we know how good Torquay are and they're a great club, but mathematically, losing them 10 points are in a relegation battle. So we knew second half was going to be the kitchen sink and they threw everything at us. So, you know, please to keep a clean sheet and I thought the substitutions that come on helped us just nullify that, especially with Joe Lord the long ball. And, um, you know, as I said, it weren't a great spectacle second half, but I thought the boys have, I've got some really tired legs out there now, really tired, which is just mounting up on the games we've had. And um, yeah, you know, we've, we're, we're over the moon to get another three points. Obviously, the sending off on the 22nd minute, and then we took the lead from Jason Adigan in the 33rd. What was the message to the lads at half time? Well, we just knew that we had to be better with the ball going up the hill. We had to have more control of it, and I don't think we was as fluent. I think they never allowed us to do that because they kept us penned in with just a load of diagonal balls, a load of long balls. They've got the boy Achapong up front, who's just an handful. Um, and it, it is one of those, if you snooze, you lose. If, 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 if you know they got off the back of us for a flick on or whatever, um, then obviously we'd be relying on Cookie to keep us in the game. But I thought we marshalled it quite well. They had a couple of little bits and pieces which they could have probably nicked something off of, but so did we when we was hitting them on the counter. So, you know, we should have been more clinical second half, um, or if so, even in the, in the first half, we should have been in 2-0, I would have thought, at least. Um, but we wasn't, and it was so important not to concede in that second period. And um, we managed to get over the line with it. But as I said, it wasn't a great spectacle for the second half. But listen, as I said last week at Maystone, you can play well and get beat. And we've, we've dug in two really tough performances. And if you're going to stay out of this relegation battle and you're going to stay in this league, it's standard that you've got to have that commitment and that the, the players that are going to really sort of put a shift in for you. And they've gone and done that again for us today. And I can't fault them, everybody. As you see walking off, they're absolutely shot to pieces. So, um, you know, but we've got a good squad here and we look to freshen things up maybe for um, the game against Avent. We're still going to go into that with, you know, needing to win every point and every game from now to the end of the season. Nothing will change. But hopefully, you know, what we've already achieved here should be enough for us to, to say that mathematically we're, you know, we're standing up. And 51 points we've got now, so I think that makes us nine clear of the, the drop zone. So not it may not be mathematically done, but as you say, we're still going, you know, still trying to get some points in the next three games. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, look, we're always going to have, having to be a tough game. I think Dartford's beat them today, so, you know, that's that, that, that gives them every lifeline. Um, I think Emil probably won as well, so that gets them out of it to a degree. So I think it's really like for us to go and lose every game and probably lose it on goal difference, uh, which is probably what you're saying there. We know there's some dangerous teams in there still with games in hand. So nothing's going to be easy. I think Averley are playing Truro tonight, so something could change there. So it'd be nice if, if it had been done today. Um, but with these lads and what we've already got and what we've achieved, I've got no problem in. I believe we can go and get something on Wednesday and I believe uh, our last home game against Weymouth we can do something with that and, and also you know, away to Slough so although there is two Astro Turfs out of three games there uh, I don't think we had a bad showing at Welling last, at uh, Maystone last week so we can play on that as well so the boys have just got to, uh, the boys have just got to keep giving us the, the next couple of weeks and um, as I say, you know, they're, they're going to have some tired legs on the beach once the season ends. But um, what we got in here, we were mathematically involved that we could stay in this league. We, You know, we had every chance of that, but trying to actually achieve what we've achieved has been unbelievable because it looked like we were doom and gloom by the time we got here. But 
hopefully we've done the uh, hopefully we've we've rescued the club and, 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 and kept us in this league. And as you say, it has been an amazing turnaround since you and Kevin have come in. Obviously still three games to go, but Kevin and yourself have committed yourselves for next season to stay on. How how delighted was that to get that sorted this week? Yeah, it's been something that we've been sort of discussing with Alwood and that, but I'm one of these, I really want to, no point us getting all excited and, and saying, right, Rod's staying, Kev's staying, and then all of a sudden we're going to lose three games on the bounce and then we get sucked back in again. So I, I just said to Kev, I said, I want to do it, uh, said to Kevin and us, we said to Alwood, we want to do it when we know or feel that we're in the right position and we've got to announce it sooner or later because obviously you supporters are entitled to know what's going on for next season so I think the timing was absolutely superb and um, that night I believe there was a meeting here as well at the club so there was a lot of good vibes coming back off of that a lot of the supporters have been in the bar the last week or so so I just thought everything just gelled together to make it right and you know obviously we're not probably going to have the, the, the money that's been spent over the last couple of years uh, we're aware of that, but I still think we've got a good enough budget. I still believe I can work with Alwood and the budget that he's given us um, still has to be found from somewhere and I think it's a competitive budget. Um, I don't think it's going to be, as I said, what you've seen last couple of years, but if we can get whoever remains from the squad this year and then try and bring in some other players for next year, you know, what we will install in that in, in the new side uh, is the same as what we've replicated in, 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 in this season. Is standard that we've got to try and work hard, eradicate mistakes, be nice and organised, be competitive and hopefully have a little bit of magic in the right areas that can win us more than we lose. So that's what the budget will bring. Um, but as you say, there's, there's a long time to go from now to the start of uh, pre-season. Well, let's all look forward to having a Waterloo away on Wednesday night. Congratulations, another three points. Brilliant. One thing I want to just say, I really appreciate all what you guys do, but I can do that next week as well, yeah? So we're, uh, we'll give you guys a little bit of well done, and Dolly, uh, that comes out every week and spends a bit of time with us, and unfortunately it's been good times. Um, but, you know, we're all, we're all mindful that sometimes we will get beat, and the interviews are, they're going to be what they are, but whilst we keep winning games, it's a lot easier to stand in front of you guys. Brilliant. All Brilliant. the best.